respected chairperson and our respected professors and colleagues it is great honor to be here and i would like to thank our guide dr nisar ahmed because of his encouragement i am here i am a research scholar and i there at tm bhagalpur university doing research on software reliability here i am going to present a very interesting and very soft software reliability based paper incorporating change point into exponentiated variable software reliability growth model and actual data analysis just let me introduce what i have done in this paper i proposed a software reliability growth model software reliability means a failure free operation by software during a given environment and an specified time here in this paper i then sorry the uniqueness of this paper is change point during the last 3 or 4 decades we have lot of software reliability growth models which have been used to assess predict and analyze software reliability the last 3 or 4 decades researches that showed there is no changes during the fault detection when we are going to detect a fault from a software we need to consider that the fault detection rate is constant but in practical if we go through practically we will get some changes this changes we can get through the divergence point if we plot a curve and the divergence point is called change point so change point i applied in my paper along with testing effort function this is the abstract i am not going through the abstract just i am giving you the main part first thing is testing effort exponentiated weibel testing effort we have a research paper previously researched by dr nisar ahmed and mr bukhari in that research paper we have only the exponentiated weibel research paper we don't have change point there i tried to do a new thing i applied a change point on that and also apply the whole srgm on real data set that is studied by ohoba and i checked my srgm compare with some noted srgms like yamdas model wangs model with the dr nisar ms model so in some cases i found that my result is better than them in some cases that is normal but in some cases i found the result is better just let me show you the comparison table please have this is the proposed model here is a fault detection rate and the r uh, uh, sorry uh, number of initial faults that is a and the fault detection rate is r you can see here i got some results r1 r2 and here i started comparison see in first case we found the value of 
so called injection rate is 0.01 that is less than of sir hammer here you can see the form the initial point 5.15 but in my case that is less than it means in this case this result is better but in some cases you can see one in some cases these results are better so this is the central idea just i am waiting repeating the conclusion i proposed a software reliability growth model which incorporated both testing effort function during the last 3 4 decades we had numerous software reliability actually with the help of testing effort i got this result One second. The testing on the basis of testing effort parameter, theta, alpha. I got this result. A R. This is the final initial input is testing effort. Right? Sorry, initial input is testing. Testing effort. How do you obtain that? Maximum likelihood estimation method. With the help of maximum likelihood estimation method, I found the testing effort initially. The parameter I didn't mention here. Just I am concentrating on change point only here. Sorry, sir. Main power, power, CPU power. Oh, CPU power. Sorry. <laughs> Either the testing, and you have some feature, the web 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 No, no. Actually, Exactly. So what are you proposing? The more the the more will consume. And this is relative error curve. Actually, when the relative error faster goes towards zero, then we can say that the result. Sometimes it goes down. Meaning of minus error. Error.
Yeah. Possibly, maybe negative or positive. It depends. Yes, That is a question. TQ No, MTQ TQ is there I mean your function Yes And M Well, uh, cheers, respected friends, colleagues. Ah, this work is basically done by one of my research scholar. Because of his absent, I need he try to find him. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a software reliability uh, modeling with learning based fault deduction rate. I think uh, we all are, all are aware with uh, software reliability a growth model. This is basically a mathematical uh, derivation or function uh, that uh, detect the error and remove the error. In this the mathematical function and with that function we will try to detect the error and then remove the error is the process right so in that process uh, what is the motivation of uh, this uh, loving this fault deduction rate I have seen many software reliability growth models had been previously developed um, and that mathematical function is uh, like mean time to tell you twice dt is alpha sorry, alpha and is proportion to and the fault deviation which is initial fault is the expected fault the what we call uh, different that was derived using 
Yeni software. Uh, reliability growth model. De developed previously. Right. What is the idea or motivation in this paper was if this is dynamic, this depends on time. If this is depends on time. For example, this is the fall deduction rate. Uh, this depends on time. This is uh, depends on time. And is a function. Q9 is of 2008. This is at all. 2008. Then learning the software. But in that case, this was constant. It's not fine. Policy basically is uh, maybe is that it's not constant for introduction uh, for deduction and for introduction are not constant. It, it follows some curve like linear, like S shape, like any curve. I think he used some uh, constant. I am proposing here a dynamic means that learning will depend on the time. This is the motivation the situation. Okay. And that dynamic learning factor uh, is uh, I have used the dynamic learning factor proposed by Chiu et al. I have considered that and incorporated in general non-homogeneous Poisson process software large distribution. We have idea about the Poisson process distribution, non-homogeneous Poisson process. And we know that there are many software large growth models use the non-homogeneous Poisson process. Some use it. But we thought hypergeometry and that distribution was a discrete time and non homogeneous is a continuous time. So the, these are the requirements uh, non homogeneous uh, Poisson process because of the behavior of the fault or error we use the non homogeneous Poisson process. The distribution is there. Right, it's the model, the general model. Under our development model, go to the assumption and then drive this, what we call differential equation. So this R is So this A T depends on the fault constant function, which is the total number of faults in the system, including the initial introduced fault. R T, the time dimension is the fault. This is the The solution is one can solve the solution in general, you get that solution. Right. Okay. Now, so now further, we have already discussed. Imperfect, imperfect devering is assumed in this case because of we are uh, fault is uh, not constant is removed as well as introduced same time so it is time dynamic
error detection rate, the function. Well, uh, the mean value function mt is developed finally and then compare with the other mean value. This is the list of the mean value developed by the author. Well, I mean, some models are uh, 2013, like okay, so compare, compare with this. To compare the result with other existing models, coefficient of multiple determination. Then we will one. The fourth model is treated the data better. It's not very necessary, but we generally assume this is closer to one. Okay. R square multiple determination can be okay. The estimation, the parameter of the model is Okay, the results, the estimated values, the values here is already for their data. Okay, they have already the values here is already for their data. That as compared to the other, I find some not better in all cases, but in some cases. References may be there, I have not seen, have you? Yeah. This one is the Mika account. That I use at the you have to show this one. Okay. Thank you. I would like to inform the chair of the session that the rest two presenters are absent. That leads to the end of the presentation in the morning session. I would also like to request the chair of the session, Dr. D.S. Kuswaha, to give his expert comments on the paper presented today. <laughs> Final comments. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Now, uh, I would like to thank Dr. Kushwaha for his, uh, giving his time to this. I would also like to thank um, Janath Yadav for co-chairing the session and I, I would also like to thank the presenters for being here and presenting his, their papers. Thank you very much. <laughs>